it's time to start memorizing the notes in the treble clef. In this lesson, we'll memorize five guide notes that will help us figure out all the other notes. All of the notes we'll memorize in this lesson will be either G or C. Let's start with memorizing treble G. Remember that another name for the treble clef is the G clef because it curls right around the G line. Notes on this line are G. There's one more place to find a G in the treble clef. Sitting right above the top line of the treble staff is also a G. Let's memorize these two G's in the treble clef. One is on the line that goes right through the belly of the G clef. The other sits on top of the treble staff. The other three guide notes we will memorize in this lesson are all C. The first we'll learn is called middle C. We call it middle C because it's located in the middle of the piano keyboard. On the staff, you'll find it down low on its own special line called a ledger line. The next of our three C's to memorize is on the third space up from the bottom. Three rhymes with C, so hopefully this can help you remember to count up to the third space to find our next C. Many musicians call this C treble C. Our final C is located way above the treble staff. It's so far above the treble staff that we have to add two ledger lines to make it all the way up there. We'll call this note high C. Are you ready for a quick test? First, let's review. There are two G's in the treble clef. Remember that the treble clef is also called the G clef because one of the G's is on the line that goes right through its belly. The other G rests just above the top line of the treble staff. There are also three C's to memorize. The first one, called middle C, is below the staff on one ledger line. The second C, treble C, is three spaces up in the treble clef. Three rhymes with C. And finally, we have high C, way up two ledger lines above the staff. Okay, it's test time. Tell me quick, what letter note is this? That's C. It's treble C. Okay, here's the next one. What note is this? That's another C. It's middle C. Next, what note is this? Yep, that one is G, right on the G line. And this one? Way up high two ledger lines above the treble staff, it must be high C. That leaves only one more guide note. That's our other G sitting right on top of the treble staff. And there you have it, the five treble clef guide notes. Memorize these notes so that you know them instantly, as fast as you know your own name. Once you've done that, we can move on to the next lesson, which uses these guide notes to help us figure out and eventually memorize all of the other notes in the treble clef. Looking for a fun way to practice learning your music notes? Flashnote Derby is an app for your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch that can help. Simply select the notes that you wish to work on memorizing, and it's off to the races. Answering correctly pushes your horse forward to the finish line, while wrong answers send you backwards. Afterwards, you can review the notes that you missed and try again. Memorizing notes is boring, but horse races are exciting. Start enjoying your music studies more and get Flashnote Derby today. 
available from the App Store or visit LearnMyNotes.com for more information.